for today's tech tip, we're going to take a look at how to insert audio files into your website. Now we're going to use iWeb, which is a Macintosh program, but the framework of what we're going to show today can be used on your PC as well. Now the user interface of iWeb looks like this, and the f easy way to insert an audio file is to come up to your media browser tab and click on audio and just drag and drop in the uh, music file that you want. You have the option here to insert a picture. You can do that. If you don't put the picture in, it'll just show the media bar uh, when you publish the website. So that's the easy way to do it. And you just go down and hit publish your site. Now the upload time, of course, is going to be a bit to get everything up and loaded. Um, there is a more advanced way to do this, and that's called using an audio skin and that's what we'll take a look at now. Okay, so for the audio skin, um, there is a website that offers uh, free uh, web skins or you can purchase them uh, yourself on uh, from the website. So here it is. This is called Flash Skins. They're a company out of UK. There's several others on the internet that you can Google up. Uh, I'm going to click here and it shows that uh, their first audio player is a free one. Uh, for the others, you pay around three to five dollars for each skin. So, clicking there, you come down to the bottom of the site and uh, or the page, and you can do your download. And this is what it will look like once you've downloaded that. It'll come in, and inside this inside the skin folder will be the different colors uh, for your audio player that you can choose from. And what you simply do is you put your audio files inside the audio folder and I've preloaded some here and then you program next your playlist okay you'll need to open this file using a text editor so I'm gonna say open with text edit application and when that comes open you're gonna see the uh, structure the framework for building the playlist so the entry point here is where it says playlist and the second time it's where it's the end of the playlist so in between you see the code here for um, designating the file you want it to go and pick up so right after the word audio and this forward slash is where you put the name of the file so that says abcs.mp3 just the same as you see it here and then for the title as you want it to appear in the flash audio player on your website which your viewers will see is what you type in in this entry point here all the way to the end where you have this stopping point so this is what they see. So you can type that in and put whatever information you like. So the way to add the next song is you can just copy the whole row and paste in a new version of the same code. And again, just change it to point to the file you want and then the title of the file as you would like it. Okay, so that's how you set up the playlist now to get all this information up onto the internet to upload this folder okay so here's the the folder I want to upload skin 11 you're gonna need an FTP program for this the one I use is called transmit it uh, is a program that uh, runs around I think twenty five thirty dollars on the internet and it looks like this okay that's the little icon and you can go to this website and get the program but there's several other FTP programs uh, and perhaps even some free ones out on the uh, internet you'll just have to google them up the way th this one operates transmit it gives you the window where you have your uh, folders in, uh, stored and this is where you have your information stored on your server so for mine I'm gonna go over and jump into my sites folder and go get that so here's skin 11 uh, skin 9, 10, and 11. Just for example, I'm going to put this one over. Skin 9, I'll put it over into my Sites folder. And it begins the uploading process here. So it will take a little while to upload depending on the number of files that you have. Um, if you already have, if you're doing an update, you can just hit replace like I've done here and I'll just replace and upload those changes. So that's how you do it. You'll get that uploaded and then the last step is to then build the flash player uh, into your iWeb 
So the way that that will look is we go over and open up our iWeb again. And you see here how I've set up an example of teaching some English lessons uh, by the simple method of bringing over your audio file and dropping it in. Now if I want to add a Flash Player, I'm going to come up here to Widgets. So I click on Widgets, bring over the HTML snippet right here. This widget drops in and it gives you a box where to put in your code. Now the code for a non-iWeb page will be located inside the instructions right here. It will show you um, the instructions of how to load that. And then on the f Flash object, this code here is what goes in. So you copy and paste that into your website. What you'll need to do for iWeb is to copy in the code that will look like this. And it's called an iframe. So you can see here it says iframe width equals uh, 327 pixels by 217. You can change this size, but anything beyond these will tend to pixelate this particular Flash Player. And then what you see here is the location of this uh, file or the web page on the internet. So it says http homepage.mac.com slash sites and then the name of the folder. Okay, so I've stored this um, on my iWeb account at this location. So you would just change, you know, of course, to fit what your information is. But you're going to point to the location of this folder and the particular audio player that you want to appear. I want the lime colored one to appear, but you could change that to blue or red by just simply clicking on here and changing the word lime to whatever color you want. And then you hit the apply button. Okay, so when it does, this is what your Flash Player is going to look like um, once you publish it. And you can see the title information is here, the name of the song and the authors or the musicians right there. So that's a nice looking little Flash Player. Cost you three, I think around three to five dollars for that. So you've got it uploaded and you can see what it looks like. And then now you're ready to publish and you come down here to the publish button. Now of course in iWeb you have uh, three options here. You can publish direct directly to your mobile me account if you have one. You can uh, publish it to a local folder and then upload it to your FTP program or if you happen to have an FTP server which you probably don't. So mobile me or local folder are probably your two options. And then you just click the publish button and if you're going to mobile B, me it'll go directly otherwise if it goes to the local folder then you'll need to use your FTP program like this and drag and drop it onto your server space okay let's take a look at what it's going to look like uh, when it's up on the internet here's the CIC uh, music and arts album page okay and so all you need to do is to come up to your flash player and you can select the song that you would like to play and you can double click on the song and hit the play button. And that's how it'll look on your website. So you've got the flash player built in and people can click and it will quickly load the song and they can play through it uh, in this format. Now again you have the option though to not do a, f a flash skin. You can always come and do it the simple way of course which is to uh, drag and drop audio files directly from the media browser and then you can have them appear like this. We're going to meet on Thursday uh, to look at this information in more detail. So in SS14 on Thursday at 3 o'clock we'll be ta taking a look at inserting audio files into your website. You're welcome to bring your computer uh, that has your website uh, already loaded on there and we can do some work on directly onto your website uh, here at the lesson on Thursday. Again the sign-up sheet is at the uh, website. Click on the Thursday form and you can sign up. So hope to see you next time. Thanks.